Americans generally respect one another's beliefs even if they don't share those beliefs. I know I do. I respect everybody's beliefs except Amish people. I Googled the dictionary definition of a feminist just to make sure I was talking about the right thing. And do you know, sir, what the dictionary definition of a feminist is? I didn't either. Listen to this. Webster's defines a feminist as a human being, not a woman, a human being that believes in equal rights for women. I was shocked that that's what that meant. Because by that definition, I would consider myself a feminist, and I didn't even know that at the time. All these years, I thought it meant frumpy dyke. Well, that's who's always talking to be some chicken overalls. Men are trying to rape us. Ah, not you, bitch. We please. I used to do the show, and then on the weekends, I do like concerts and shit like that. So I'm doing a concert, and there was a couple in the front row, beautiful couple. The wife, wife was obviously Asian. You can see it in her face. The husband, this motherfucker was mysterious to say the least. Couldn't quite pinpoint where he was from. Caramel colored fella, very nice hair, but he could have been from anywhere, Bangladesh, Mexico. I can't guess with a nigga like this. All I knew for sure about this guy is that his wife was a bitch. And I tried to break the tension. I just asked her. That's all I said. I go, hey, where are you guys from anyway? And I could tell that she was on to me. She goes, very condescendingly, she says, I'm from California. If you are asking my ethnicity, I am Chinese. And her husband was just cool about the shit. He was like, I'm Mexican, bro. I said, well, I'm sorry if I offended you by asking, but you're a very beautiful couple. And miss, there's no question that you're going to give birth to the hardest working baby this world has ever seen. <laughs> That's not a bad joke. She got very upset. She got up to leave immediately, but she didn't just leave. She had to take one last dig at me on the way out. I will never buy one of your fucking DVDs again, Dave Chappelle. I said, ma'am, with all due respect, Chinese people don't buy DVDs. <laughs> I saw your baby, very nice. Got babies. How old's the baby now? He got he's 18 months now. Oh, that's very cool. He can't quite talk yet, but that's what I'm waiting for. Yeah, yeah. For him to talk. Yeah. Cause when have you ever had a conversation with a guy that lived in your balls, you know? <laughs> I also believe if you decide to have the baby, a man should not have to pay. That's fair. If you can kill this motherfucker, I can at least abandon him. I am what's known on the streets as a victim blamer. You know what I mean? If somebody come up to me like, Dave, Dave, Chris Brown just beat up Rihanna. I'll be like, well, what did she do? And if you want to meet with me, I'd be more than willing to, but I have some conditions. You must admit that Hannah Gatsby is not funny. I remember right around September 11th, uh, Ja Rule was on MTV. That's what they said. They said, we got Ja Rule on the phone. Let's see what Ja's thoughts are on this tragedy. Who gives a fuck what Ja Rule thinks at a time like this? Like, this is ridiculous. I don't want to dance. I'm scared to death. You think when bad shit happens to me, I'll be in the crib like, oh my God, this is terrible. Because somebody, please, find Ja Rule, get hold of this motherfucker so I can make sense of all this. We got the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. I gotta admit, that's probably the most niggerish decision I've made in a long time. <laughs> I walk in the doctor like, give me the third best option. I'll have what the homeless people are having. There was a black man who was in South Carolina during slavery who somehow got granted his freedom by his so-called master. And when his master granted him the freedom, he also gave him a plot of land. Now, it turns out this brother was brilliant. He had a, a, good, he had a good eye, a good knack for farming. And, and he farmed this plot of land very successfully and made a lot of money. And this is where the story gets crazy. Uh, when he got all that money, this nigga bought some slaves. 
Not only was he a slave owner, he became a slave breeder and employed tactics that were so cruel, even white slave owners were like, yo, my man. He was a wild dude, but he did it just because that's what successful people did at the time, and he just wanted to be down. What a fucking tragedy. How can a person that went through slavery perpetrate the same evil on a person that looks just like him? It's mind-blowing. And, shockingly, they're making a movie about it. Ironically, it's called Space Juice. <laughs> Being a celebrity, your, your realm of getting in trouble is, is worse than the average person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, the average dude gotta go out and look for trouble. I'd be sitting around mind my own business, and dude come up, hey, man, you're Dave Chappelle. I'm like, yeah, what's up, man? Hey, I got 12 naked bitches in a hot air balloon. You trying to roll with me? <laughs> One lady said, Louis C.K. masturbating in front of me ruined my comedy dreams. Word. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I dare say, madam, you may have never had a dream. We found out that life wasn't gonna let us do that. And that it's impossible to shoot love out of your chest. <laughs> However, I have shot love onto somebody's chest before. Let's just say you had the 40 million. Who, who's, to, who's to say you would be uh, a happier or, or better person? I think I might be a happier person. <laughs> Literally, if you look at history, recently we have bombed the masculinity out of an entire continent. We dropped two atomic bombs on fucking Japan and they've been drawing Hello Kitty and shit ever since. There's <laughs> a lot of lady boys in the wake of our bombs. And I know these things because my wife is Asian. She's Filipino. All right, well, okay, so that explains it. Now you know why you see me at all those Filipino events. <laughs> I'm not there picking up pussy, I'm dropping some off. I never knew that your middle name was Michael. Yeah, well, there you go. How I about don't know that? how I'm going to use this information. Yeah. With somebody new. I don't know, I don't know. I said I want to write you, but I don't want to light you. But I know, but I know. You're with somebody new. So I don't know, I don't know. I said I want to write you, but I don't want to light you. Oh, oh. I know the game now. I know that rich white people call poor white people trash. And the only reason I know that is because I made so much money last year, the rich whites told me they say it at a cocktail party. And I'm not with that shit. And I stood with them in line, like all of us Americans are required to do in a democracy. Nobody skips the line to vote. And I listen to them. I listen to them say naive, poor white people things. Man, Donald Trump's gonna go to Washington and he's gonna fight for us. I'm standing there thinking in my mind, you dumb motherfucker. You are poor. He's fighting for me. And they all looked at me. They could tell who I was voting for just as easily as I could tell who they were voting for. But do you guys know what we all had in common? Not a single one of us looked like we felt good about what we had to do in that booth. We were just doing our goddamn duty. I watch sports, I be thinking about, like, like, think about, it. okay, okay, say, say LeBron James uh, changed his gender. You know what I mean? Okay, can he stay in the NBA or, because he's a woman, does he have to go to the WNBA where he will score 840 points a game? <laughs> what? Does it actually mean to be equal? You know what I mean? Like, if women are actually equal to men, then there would be no WNBA, would there? You would just be good enough to play in the NBA with us. Or, here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the fuck up. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner was voted Woman of the Year. Her first Yo, let's talk about a real issue at hand Trash piling up, it's time to take a stand From plastic bottles to styrofoam cups Our planet's drowning, it's time to wake up Garbage trucks roll, streets lined with waste But where does it go? It's not a race To the landfill, a mountain of despair But we can change course, show that we care
Trash talk, it's more than just words. It's about actions, the change we deserve. Reduce, reuse, recycle. That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth. Let's take a stand. Trash talk, it's more than just words. It's about actions, the change we deserve. Reduce, reuse, recycle. That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth. Let's take a stand. Single use plastics, they gotta go. From straws to bags, it's time to say no. Bring your own cup, your own tote bag. Small steps add up, let's not lag. Sorting all waste, it's not that tough. Recycling centers, that's where it's rough. Separate paper, glass, and cans. Give them a new life, that's the plan. Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand but it's not just about the stuff we toss It's about the mindset, there's no loss Composting food waste, it's a win Turning scraps to soil, let's begin Educate the masses, from young to old The future's at stake, let the story unfold For the sake of our planet, our home sweet home Let's clean up our acts, together we roam Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Year as a woman Ain't that something? Beat every bitch in Detroit, she's better than all of you Oh, I'd be mad as shit if I was a woman I'd be mad if I was me If I was in a BET Awards sitting there And they're like, and the winner for Nigger of the Year Eminem my man. <laughs>